the other thing that I refuse to buy. Hello, 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 Yvette Sojourner here, Yvette Sojourner here, welcome. Listen, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. How else is all this goodness gonna be spread across the YouTubers and the interweb? This is the place in a space where luxury meets authenticity. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Today, today we are gonna talk about things I refuse to buy. Listen to me, listen to me. There are just all kinds of things that I come across. And the one thing that has remained consistent is a list of things I just say, it's a no, it's a no for me. It's a no, it's a no for me. And I wanna share those things with you. I have been waiting to talk about this with all of you for a very long time but seeing all the other things that have been happening and going on i wanted to release those things first so this is a good time where i can just relax and chat with you about these things so let's get into this list let me say these things these things are just a no for me just a no for me i give myself exceptions at times but Throughout the years, these are things that I just can't, I just can't, I just can't. So let's, let's get into the list. Let me, let me just share these things with you. Bag charms, bag charms, you know exactly what I am talking about. And I will show you one of the things that I have. Bag charms. You see this? You see this? I do not buy bag charms this was an actual gift that i put together i thought it was very neat i ended up getting this one it was gifted to me by my hermes essay when i was offered my birkin 25 in virt almond and yes i accepted it because it was a very kind gesture i put it together because i thought that would be neat i did a little video on that but i do not buy bag charms i do not put anything on my bags it's just what i prefer it's just who i am so it is a no for me also if i put charms in my bag i'm afraid that i will put so many on there that it will weigh it down more than it already is and let me tell you a majority of the time my bags are heavy already so i'm just gonna put that plug in there bag charms are a no for me now the other thing are mini bags I am not one to carry a mini bag. And if you recall, I was offered a Constance 18, which is a mini Constance in ostrich leather. It was black while I was in Paris. And oh my goodness, that bag looked lovely. But when I went to put my phone in the bag, it did not work out. You know, I already had a whole discussion about this when I unboxed and revealed my Constance 24. If you have not checked that out, you definitely should. After you finish watching this video, hop over there and check it out. But I cannot do many bags. First off, I am not the type of person who wants to be carrying and having a ton of things in my hand, on my body, and so on and so forth. So there is no way that I'm gonna get a bag my phone cannot fit into, period, period. I am not one of those people who will get a bag that only my lip oil will fit in. No, no, it's just not who I am. It's just not who I am. So mini bags are a no for me, except if my phone fits in. If my phone fits in the bag and I can fit all my other little things that I need in there, then I, you know, I will consider it. But if my phone doesn't fit in, it's a no. That's just, no. I'm not carrying my phone in my hand or in my pocket. It's just not who I am. So moving on, moving, you know, you know, I love talking to you all. You know, I love talking to you. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. I should say that I have purchased something that is similar to a mini bag, but it's really not a mini bag. It's more so a wallet. And that is this Hermes to go wallet. This is the closest I feel I could get to a mini bag. And that is because my phone could fit in here as well as my cards and potentially 
some other small things and that is the gist of it so yeah this is the only mini bag that i feel i will be able to carry with confidence as i said in my previous unboxing of my constance 24 when i was offered the constance 18 which is the mini constance i don't feel i'm in a place where i will be walking around with absolutely nothing on me it's just not where i am right now in my life so yeah enough of that moving on the next item as well as the following one fall into a similar category so i'm just going to lump those two together the Hermes constance slim i cannot see myself purchasing the Hermes constance slim or or and this was next on the list the kelly pocket 18 belt the kelly pocket 18 belt and the Hermes constance slim wallet are a no for me i just can't see myself purchasing those items i just said it previously i cannot purchase anything that my phone cannot fit inside of i just it's a no for me it's a no for me these two items fall into that category so i i just can't i see these two pieces as more decorative pieces. So along the lines of like a brooch, you put it on, it looks good, it looks nice. More, it's, it's very aesthetically pleasing, but outside of that, it just doesn't really serve much purpose. So I can't see myself purchasing either one of those. It's just a no for me. I have to admit, they are very cute. Both of them are very, very cute. They are functionally no so if it's not functional i just can't do it i can't oh my goodness this next item is just okay i if you know me and you've been following me you know why this is on the no list and that is hermes jewelry be it costume or fine jewelry it's just a no for me I just, yeah, I can't, I can't see myself <laughs> purchasing either. Hubs and I have talked about it. My essay and I have talked about it. It's just not something that interests me, especially because I have all the pieces I need as far as my everyday use in my collection. And I really lean towards Cartier when it comes to my jewelry. As of now, at this point, that is where I am. I have looked at Hermes's jewelry. It is fabulous. It is lovely. When they first announced that they would be carrying and offering fine jewelry, I took notice. I took notice. I have to admit that I took notice. But at that point, I already was established when it came to my jewelry collection. I add a couple pieces at this point to just elevate. So a step up from what I really currently have i'm evolving in a sense but i am not in the market to really expand my jewelry collection i'm just not i have looked at their pieces they're very very nice very nice pieces i just it's a no for me it's just a no for me <laughs> i do have a couple you know to be honest with you i do have a couple of hermes more costume pieces not the fine fine jewelry it was before the fine jewelry was introduced i do have a couple pieces they're leather and i do appreciate them and of course the hermes apple watch straps i always go after those but outside of that yeah i'm i'm good i'm good if hermes's fine jewelry came out before i purchased my cartier pieces i may have considered going with Hermes. If nothing else, I would have considered it in the running. I can't say that I would have purchased something after seeing the pieces that are available, but I would have definitely considered it, just like Van Cleef. I have considered so many designers when it comes to my jewelry, but Cartier just fits my lifestyle so well. When it comes to me, it's just a no-brainer. When it comes to me, it's just a no-brainer. It works for me. I stick with what works for your best sojourner. I just do. The other thing I refuse to buy, 
The other, the other thing I refuse to buy, let me get closer. The other thing that I refuse to buy is athleisure. I just cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Athletic wear, no. It's a no for me, it's a no for me. Even with Hermes, it's a no for me. I've looked at their pieces when I did realize that they were carrying leggings and they have a, a separate line for leggings and so on and so forth. I just could not, could not. No, I can't, I could not, I could not. <laughs> I could not commit to making that purchase. I just can't. I can't. When I when it comes to when it comes to athleisure, a majority of the time I just stick with Lululemon. Why? Because it has worked for me. I have used Lululemon for years now and it just works. So I just stick with what I know. I have explored other options in other places, but none of the places have been actual designers. So no big names like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, Hermes, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I just can't see, no, I just can't. And I don't believe that regardless of how much money I may have in the future, I just cannot see yeah, making that purchase. I just can't. I like being comfortable. And when I work out, it's worse than me on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I have mentioned this so many times in the past. I am hard on things. I just live a life where I just don't care. I just live my life. For me to invest in high-end athleisure, that means that it would, it would really have to be able to stand Yvette Sir Joyner and I highly doubt any of these pieces will do that. So I opt to stick with what I know and if something happens I replace the piece without any issue or or any heartbreak okay because let me say we make these purchases and sometimes it tugs at our heartstrings when something goes awry. I do not want to be sitting there heartbroken because I went to do a burpee and I tore my leggings. I don't know, I don't know, but these things happen. I don't want to be so invested financially that it really, you know, it really shakes me. I just don't wanna be that person. So no, I, I will not invest in athleisure. I have to say, I did not think that I would be buying designer sneakers either. And look at me, look at me. So I'm just saying this list is something I have thought about and I revisit year after year after year and it has remained consistent throughout the years. So yes, who knows, things may change, but I just can't see it in, right now. Like right now, Yvette Sojourner today cannot see these things being picked up by your bed sojourner. Okay, I'm just gonna say it that way. The last thing on my list, the last thing on my list that is an absolute no, that is luggage. I cannot see myself picking up designer luggage. I just cannot. I cannot see myself purchasing designer luggage. I just cannot see myself committing to that. And I have to say this with confidence because I just got a Manos luggage piece. It's not that expensive, but I got it a couple years ago. You should see the state of that bag. <laughs> it has been through. And this is just solely my carry on. And we travel business slash first class. That bag looks so sad right now, but, but it is in mint condition. So outside of the aesthetic part, as far as how it looks, it is perfect steel. So I will continue to buy non-designer luggage because if I were to invest that money into luggage and something were to really happen, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I love the idea of having 
beautiful luggage. If I were traveling in a private jet, maybe I am not at that place in my life where I will be traveling in a private jet. The day that happens, I could potentially see myself investing in more high-end luggage. Right now where I am, where your vet sojourner is today, it's a no. Luggage gets damaged, even the carry-on. I mean, this isn't even my check bag. This is my carry-on bag. And I myself am not the, <laughs> I am not the most gentlest person when it comes to these things either. I have to admit that. I have to admit that, right? I have to be honest as far as who I am. I rough handle a lot of things in my life. As you can see from this discussion, like seriously, your best journey is hard on things. So when it comes to luggage, I will stick with what I have because it just truly fits me and my lifestyle as far as when it comes to traveling. I am not gentle and that's so, this is unfortunate, but it's true. I mean, I'm the one handling my carry-on bag a majority of the time. That bag looks so sad. <laughs> and when we were on our trip to Paris and we were in business class, so we were flying from the US to France, I have to say, I did catch myself thinking, oh my goodness, the way I handle this bag, like when I'm reaching into the overhead bin, pulling it down, putting it back, pulling it down, putting it back. I just laughed at myself because I'm like, I am probably worse than the individuals who work at the airport. I just don't care. And it's not that I don't care, it's just that I know that it's, it's well protected. Everything in my bag is well protected. Listen, I can go on and on about this. I'm not going to, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop now. With all of that being said, that is all I have for you today. I really just wanted to share some of the things that I just will not buy. I share my wish list. I also share pieces that I pick up that may not be on my wish list. It is very rare that I talk about what I will not pick up or if something doesn't suit or fit me and as to why I will not make the purchase. So this video I feel should give you a better idea of who I am and the things that I like and why I gravitate towards the things that I gravitate towards. I try my hardest to explain why I purchased the pieces that I purchased. I will be doing a video in the future regarding how I go about selecting the pieces that I select, what makes it into my wardrobe, how I curate my wardrobe, and what makes it on my wish list, how I go about doing that, my process. I will do that in the future. I have had a number of comments regarding it, but I feel this is a good discussion to have because it's something that I rarely have had the opportunity to talk about. So now it is done. I have to say, I told you, I have been waiting to share this with you since before my trip to France, but I just had not had the opportunity seeing there are so many things lined up and so many things happening. So thank you so much for joining me as always. Until next time.